Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Header. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update a version of the plugin in WordPress.org. Since I have a plugin in the WordPress.org uh, website and it hasn't been tested for um, three versions, so they're gonna show a, a warning that uh, it may no longer be maintained or supported even though it's still working. If you have an open source uh, plugin, and you want to update it. I'm gonna show you how. Um, but first, let me get started with the plugin. Okay. Um, I need to download it first. Okay. You're gonna see me struggling during the way. Um, seeing I'm lazy during the process of making video. Okay. So I'm gonna clone it my project. Cool. And then I'm gonna. Open it in VS Code because it's my favorite code editor. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna trust it. Let me try it. So when I download it from GitHub, it's gonna be under my um, WordPress plugin folder. Okay. So it's version A at the moment. Then I'm gonna activate it. Then after I activate it, um, it should be inside the settings. So if you don't know, this is a free version of the plugin that helps to integrate Firebase feature to WordPress website. And this is a free version. If you um, want to use fully supported version, you should start with the uh, pro version. It's supported. It has so many features, about 400 people or a website using it. So if you want to support my work, try it out. Cool, now come back to this one. Now I'm gonna update the uh, plugin version. Okay, so I'm gonna search for my current version, uh, which is 0.08. Okay, let me update the channel log. So it should be version 9 now. And the day I update is, um, oh, exactly one year. What a coincidence. It still works fine. Boom. Support version. Two version. Two WordPress version 5.9. Okay. And then inside the index, this is where you specify your plugin information. You see the, the package name, the author, and the categories, lots of information here. And then I'm going to update to version 09. Um, so if I refresh it, it should change the version here. You can, also see, you can also see that here too, okay? So make sure that I update it everywhere. And the readme.tts is the one that um, it's going to be used for um, WordPress.org. It's going to read this information and show it on the website. Okay. Let me copy from the, the channel log. Okay. Pretty simple. Just, I just need to make this uh, update to be consistent with the old uh, formats. Okay, so the readme.md uh, is for GitHub. This is what you're gonna see uh, in the readme. And the detail, the review, the installation, the support, is gonna be inside the readme.txt. Looks like that I update everything. Hopefully it's gonna work. Usually you need to update it directly locally but we have GitHub Action that can help to update and run the CI CD and then push the deployment process to GitHub. So hopefully it's gonna work this time because I haven't tried it for a while. Okay, let's see. So I should switch to my um, check out develop. Okay, and then I'm gonna add everything at the file that I update. So update support version. 
as a message commit if you are familiar with git okay and then i'm gonna update it if you are working with wordpress or wordpress plugin i suggest that you should have a place where you save your code you have the history of what you did so it's easy to fix if something go wrong okay so usually i'm gonna uh, work on the develop branch and then after that i'm gonna merge back to master and for merge okay. get action it, it's triggering let's see okay it deployed the plugin hopefully it's not gonna have any error oh no it does have some okay okay i might know what happened i think I need to update the version manually here. Okay, my battery. I don't know why, but yeah, it's what happened. So I should uh, update it again. Um, add this one, and then add the uh, the message for the commit. CI version. And then. I'm gonna push my change. Okay. Um, create a new pull request. If you only have one person who code everything, you don't have to have the develop branch. Okay. Master is enough. And when you push to master, it will run the CI CD. Okay, create pull request. And then I'm gonna merge it. And then the um, CI CD will trigger. Hopefully it's gonna work this time. Okay, look like it recognized my new version. Awesome. So let's check the WordPress main website. If I refresh this one, it might take time to take into effect. Okay, so last update 28 seconds and the current version is version 090, which is really good. I'm so happy now. Oh no. So sorry guys. Um I forgot to do this one. The main important things that I miss. Go okay, so test up to I cannot believe that I forgot this one. Where is it? Okay. See, so this is the main point of the website, but I totally forgot it. I cannot believe it. Okay. Ah. Now we need to bump another version in order to deploy it correctly. Okay, so now the version should be um, 0 0.9.1. Okay. Yeah, I should search for um file and update it um accordingly. Yep, this file is a must. It's a silly error. be fixed okay oh lots of table here it's a good thing that we see the error early and then we fix it it's so silly of me okay I think we're good now and then I'm gonna add everything into the um, commit and then a fix update version okay and then i'm gonna push the changes 
So the good thing that if you work on another branch, if you do something wrong, you can revert back or delete the branch that you are working on and you can see the changes. You can catch anything that you miss. Okay, and see the GitHub action. So it's really convenient if you have a public or an open source WordPress plugin, then you don't have to manually update locally. So you need to put into the GitHub CI CD. And then after you change, it will deploy it uh, for you. It's really fast. It's less than 20 seconds. Really good. Then I need to uh, make another release. Okay. Um, create a new release. Version 0, 1. Update support. WordPress version to version 5 when I and then target the current master and then push the release the release is a uh, point in time that I save so if I want to go back to this version all I need to do is just download this source code and have this release version that can be used in case things happen okay and if I go back to uh, the plugin website and then refresh it okay so the warning is disappear and my version is updated. Cool. So if you have any question on anything, please let me know. Um, I will make a video show you how. Happy to do so. See you in the next video. Bye.